All right, I'm going to show you how to restore this M1 Mac two different ways. The first way is going to be with recovery partition. Second way is going to be using this other Mac over here, utilizing Apple Configurator 2 and DFU mode, which is going to allow us to revive the Bridge OS as well as the Mac OS in the event the recovery partition gets so hosed up on this M1, you can't do anything to it. So let's start off with recovery partition first. We're going to start up this Mac holding on the power button and continue to hold it to load the startup options. So as I continue to hold this, it's going to say loading startup options, then I can let go. All right, so you're going to see it load, and you're going to want to choose this options on the right-hand side. Click continue, and this is going to load us into the recovery partition. You're going to want to click continue on your language, and now we're in Mac OS recovery. We can either choose to restore from a time machine backup, Reinstall Mac OS Big Sur on this device. If I click this right now and go, it will preserve the user data on this device. I always recommend making sure that you have a backup of your data no matter what in the event something goes bad. If you don't want to keep the data, then what you need to do is you need to launch Disk Utility, click Continue, Select the Macintosh HD over on the side over here. Actually, we're going to go up to Show All Devices. We're going to click Erase. So if I click Erase right now, it'll erase the entire drive. I'm not going to do that. We're going to go and actually rebuild this with DFU mode. But once I actually erase the drive, I would come back here and just click Reinstall Mac OS Big Sur. I don't want to do that right now. I want to get us going with this DFU mode and connect it to this Mac over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the power cable that came with the Mac. So the power brick, we're going to take the cable. And this cable allows us to do DFU mode. So on the MacBook Pro M1, we need to connect to the back left side left port as seen in the picture and for mac mini m1 you're going to want to connect it to this port here and for the imac m1 you're going to want to connect it to this port here all right and now i'm going to connect this over to this other side on this other mac over here and i am going to start this mac up in DFU mode. And what you're going to see, I'm going to shut this Mac down. All right, so now that I've got the two cables connected, I've got Apple Configurator 2 running on this Mac. I need this Mac can be an Intel Mac, but it has to be on 10, 15, 6 or later in order to restore this M1 Mac. And now in order to start this M1 Mac up in DFU mode, I need to hold down the control and option key on the left hand side and the shift key on the right hand side of this device along with the power for 10 seconds. Then I need to release the shift key, the option and control key and continue holding the power button for another 10 seconds. So we're going to do that now. And what you're going to see is you're going to see this change to DFU mode for this Mac. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now you're seeing it switch. Now we've got the MacBook Pro connected in DFU mode, as you can see here. If we can go up to actions and down to, sorry, I got to select it, go up to actions. And you can go to restore, which will restore this device from the internet. It'll go grab the Bridge OS and the Mac OS, and it'll install it. It takes a little while to do that, but it'll restore this device good as new. But what I want to do is I want to use the IPSW file. You can download this file from my buddy Mr. McIntosh's blog. He has an awesome list of them. You can go grab any one of them. And what that is, me, it looks like this. So I have IPSW files for 11.3.1 and 11.4 macOS. I drag this, whoops. I drag this 11.4, actually I'm gonna do 11.3 on the DFU. It's gonna ask me, do I wanna revive this device? Which would mean just fix the bridge OS and install it and update it with the one that's supposed to be installed or restore it, which means do both the bridge OS and the Mac OS. So we're going to click restore. I am now installing this in DFU mode. All right, so this is going to take about 10 minutes to complete. So I'm going to fast forward it. All right, so it only took about 10 minutes to rebuild that MacBook Pro M1 from start to finish with Apple Configurator 2 using DFU mode, which is super slick. If you're looking to build out a USB installer and do it that route, you can do it that route as well. Um, check out this video here. Make sure to get subscribed, everybody. You guys have an amazing day. Take care.